For thousands of years, the brightest human minds have been pouring their collective thought into advancing the strategies of games like chess and Go. And in March of 2016, they were defeated by a single neural network called AlphaGo, which had trained on the game Go for just a few weeks. Then, in December 2017, AlphaGo evolved into AlphaZero and showed the world's most powerful chess and shogi algorithms who their daddy is after just nine hours of learning from self-play. How does it work? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's exactly what this video is about. And not only will you learn the theory, but we're going to put it into code so you can build your own superhuman board game bots. But something so powerful it can defeat thousands of years of human thinking must be cloaked in military grade secrecy, right? Well, DeepMind hasn't made their actual source code public, but the papers they have written contain enough detail so we're able to reconstruct what they did very well. The primary limitation is how much money you are willing to sink into cloud computing. AlphaGo Zero used 64 GPU workers and 19 CPU parameter servers to train. So what kind of problems can AlphaZero solve? Turn-based games with fixed rules fully observable positions where the primary goal of the opponent is to prevent us from winning. Previously, AI achieved superhuman abilities in games like chess through brute force computing power. This means evaluating every possible move and every possible move that branches from that until the best move is found. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue was able to beat world chess champion Garry Kasparov. Played on an 8x8 grid, the chess search tree was reasonable enough for desktop level computers to beat the best humans. But on a 19x19 board, the search tree for Go is absolutely mind boggling. The number of possible game states far exceeds the number of atoms in the universe. The original idea behind AlphaGo is that a deep neural network can estimate which moves in a search tree are most promising, dramatically reducing the computing power required to find good moves. And AlphaGo Zero is actually so simple it's quite beautiful. It works exactly the same way a chess master thinks. Select several of the most promising moves and explore the tree to confirm the best one. But don't waste time looking into obviously bad moves. And if you're familiar with the basic concepts of deep learning, it's not difficult to grasp how this works. A big takeaway I got from putting together this series of tutorials is that reinforcement learning itself isn't complicated. It's just that very few of those inside the world of academia are good at explaining things to those of us on the outside. My goal throughout this series has been to explain the research in plain English and walk you through the algorithms so you can implement them and code yourself and understand how the code works. So let's show you how AlphaGo Zero works. There are really only three pieces you need to understand. Number one, the deep neural network. This takes a game state as input estimates the value of the state and returns a proposed policy. The architecture is very similar to actor critic. Two, Monte Carlo tree search. This is an algorithm which intelligently explores the most promising moves based on suggestions from the neural network. The intuition of the well-trained neural network removes the need for brute force so we can find superior moves with many fewer iterations than traditional tree search approaches. Three, apprenticeship. At any given time, we have a reigning champion version of our neural network which plays against itself to generate training data. After a set number of training iterations, the newest version of the network plays a series of games against the champion, and if it wins at least 55% of the matches, it becomes a new champion. However, the latest Alpha Zero algorithm now omits this step, and the soft play network is updated continuously. I want to give credit where credit is due. David Foster of Applied Data Science put together a very good infographic breaking down AlphaGo Zero. I'm going to be using excerpts from this as I explain what's going on. There's a link in the description so you can download the full graphic yourself. AlphaGo Zero consists of three stages which are executed in parallel. Step one is self-play. We're creating a training set to trade our network on. The current champion plays 25,000 games against itself using Monte Carlo Tree Search. At each move, the following information is saved. First, the game state. Second, the action probabilities, which are essentially what the policy head of the network outputs, but these are calculated from the Monte Carlo Tree Search results. 
three, the winner of the game, plus one if this player has won, and negative one if the player lost. This data is added after the game is finished. Step two is to train the network and optimize the network weights. This is the training loop. First, we sample a mini batch of 2,048 game positions from the last 500,000 games. The game states are the network input. Policy loss is the cross entropy between the network predicted probabilities and the actual probabilities calculated with Monte Carlo tree search. Value loss is the mean squared error between the network predicted value and the actual value calculated from Monte Carlo tree search. Finally, we apply stochastic gradient descent as usual, but we're going to use the momentum optimizer instead of Atom. And after 1,000 training loops, it's time to evaluate the network. Step three is to evaluate the network. We run a series of tests to see if the new network is stronger. We play 400 games between the latest version of the neural network and the current best neural network. Both players use deterministic Monte Carlo tree search to select their moves using their respective neural networks to evaluate the leaf nodes, which are the unexplored or terminal states. The latest network must win 55% of the games to be declared the new champion. And when a new champion is declared, we copy its weights to the main self-play network. Note that in the latest paper on Alpha Zero for Chess and Shogi, the step has been deprecated. The self-play network is now regularly updated from the latest trained weights without evaluation. And that's it. You should have a strong understanding of the basic ideas behind AlphaGo Zero. Since there's a lot to cover, I figured I'd break this tutorial up into several parts. This makes it easier for you to go back and find specific concepts you want to review. This is Colin Scow, and I'll be back shortly with an in-depth explanation of the Monte Carlo tree search algorithm and exactly how AlphaGo Zero selects moves, stochastically during training, and deterministically in competitive matches. See you soon!